Got a couple of steps inside to the house. This is like a big mud room. Big area here, which would be your laundry. Cupboards through here. But it's a big space. Whoops. That goes into now the main bathroom. So there's a toilet there. You've got electric heaters on the wall. Vanity. Spa. Wouldn't be 100% sure whether the spa works, but the bath certainly does. Shower over the top. And then uh, they've got fittings in there where the washing machine was. So if you didn't want to have it in that sort of mudroom area, the taps are already fitted there if you wanted to do that. Then we walk through to the kitchen. So you can see there's a wall oven and a plate warmer on there. Space for fridge, pantry, which I'll open in a moment. Laminex bench top, stainless steel um, dishwasher, electric hot plates. So everything's electric out here. If you wanted gas, it would need to be bottled gas. It's even got uh, power points for the USB for charging your phone. Pantry, pantry's great size. Plenty of shelving. And then this is where most people, where the tiles are, would have your um, dining table. Uh, and then it goes to natural timber floors, which you don't see a lot of just natural timber these days. Uh, you'll see up on the wall there a split system heating and cooling. Uh, you might have noticed there's vents in the floor. It would have had a ducted heating system at some stage. It doesn't anymore. If you, need, if you wanted that, you'd need to reinstate that yourself. So everything's electric, hence the solar panels. Sliding door out. Then you've got this magnificent looking round um, fireplace for a good bit of ambience in the um, winter time. And I'd say they probably did that because Again, that's where your view is. So you'd sit around the fire looking out to your view. It's got timber uh, blinds, shutter blinds, shelves up on the wall there, little like built-in bar area or library. Then you walk through, I'll just explain before I do that, there's a heat transfer system, so the heat in this, where that vent is, that white switch on the wall there, you hit that and that vents it down to the other end of the house. Then there's a second um, lounge. So this is one big room. So if you need two, spot for your telly up on the wall there. If you need two living areas, you've got that. Again, sliding doors out to the pool veranda area to capture those views again. Then we head down the hallway. And that doorway you can see there to my right, that's back in where we came from the carport. So then straight down the hallway, down these lovely natural timber boards, you've got a heater, plus there's also um, cupboards here for storage. The one, the bedroom here on my right, this is the main bedroom. So it goes, you go through the door and there's a vanity there, shower straight ahead. I might as well go this way. And toilet. So you can see as I swing back, that's through there. Now there's doors leading back into the main bedroom and also a door, sliding door here. So main bedroom, built-in robes. You can see there's uh, drawers in there as well. And you can see the door back through the toilet door back through to that vanity area and the door to go back to the hallway. Two bedrooms here, so bedroom two and three. This was the one with the sliding door out onto the veranda. And I think you'll, you can see that's these vents I was talking about that duck down from the heating from the lounge room. Again, you've got good hanging space there, drawers either side, ceiling fan here. Bedroom three, it gets a good view too. There's a duct in this bedroom. 
Again, hanging space, and there's some drawers as well. So in the bedrooms, there's tiles on the floor. Just so you know, back down the hallway, bedroom number four, smaller bedroom, could be a study. A lot of people are working from home now, so it wouldn't be bad to set your desk up here, that's for sure. This one doesn't have built-in robes though. And I think that covers the house for us. I'll just wander back through. I think we've covered everything for the property here at 350 Maui Willow Grove Road at Tangle South.